it is Jesus who died. Jesus who died, now glory. Let's, let's sing that Jesus you died now glorify three more times and then we'll, we'll continue from there. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you because it is the one who died that we glorify and we continue to glorify. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you and we honor you. We welcome the aroma of resurrection of resurrection of his death of his burial and of his resurrection thank you Jesus thank you Father glory be to your name Jesus in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray thank you praise team God bless you So tonight, let's open our Bibles quickly as we take our seats in the heavenly places. Uh, let's open our Bibles to the book of Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6. Um, chapter 16, sorry. Mark chapter 16. And, uh, well, we'll probably start from verse 1 so we can get the full context. The Bible says that when the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome purchased sweet-smelling spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? Verse 4. Looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. That is our theme. Looking back, Looking up, 
they saw that the stone had been rolled away. Though it was extremely large, entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right, wearing a long, stately white robe, and they were amazed and bewildered. And he said to them, do not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See. Here is, here is the place where they laid him. But go tell the disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him just as he told you. Amen? Amen. Just as he told you. Well, as we consider this uh, theme, the stone has been rolled away. I'd like us to look at a... Um, a par, um, the same text, let's look at Matthew 27, the same story, and we'll go all the way down to, to 57. I want us to see something that Mark did not mention. The Bible says that in verse 57, when it was evening, there came a rich man from, Ara from Arimathea named Joseph. He was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus so that he might bury him. And Pilate ordered that it be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a, cl in a clean linen cloth burial, wrap, uh, wrapping. And he laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a large stone over the entrance of the tomb and went away. Now watch this. And Mary Magdalene was there, and the other Mary sitting opposite the tomb. Now, verse 62, focus on this. The next day, that is the day after the day of preparation for the Sabbath, the chief priests and the Pharisees assembled before Pilate and said, Sir, we have remembered that when he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days, I will rise from the dead. Therefore, give orders to have the tomb made secure and safeguarded until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last deception, the reporting of, the, of his resurrection, will be worse than the first, the reporting that he is the Messiah. Now, 65 says, Pilate said to them, you have a guard of soldiers. Go with them. Make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure. Along with, along with stationing a guard of soldiers to be on watch, they set a seal on the stone. I hope you're observing this, what Mark didn't mention. Now, in, in chapter 28, verse 1, the Bible says, Now, after the Sabbath, near dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to, the, to look at the tomb. And a great, verse 2, and a great earthquake. You see, Mark, Matthew is showing a lot of detail that Mark did not necessarily mention. And you see, if you just see, let me put it this way. When you watch a movie, right? How many of you have watched the movie and the starting of the movie shows a dead person? Right? And somebody discovers a dead body. And startled away, right? And then all of a sudden, they stop from there. And then they rewind and now begin to show you all the story behind how come the dead body was there. That is what Matthew is doing now. Because Mark just shows us that, okay, uh, when they came, the stone was already rolled away and all that. How did the dead body get there? Was the dead body there? Was the dead body ever there? Huh? And there was a stone about three feet in diameter that was covering the face of the tomb that was moved out of the way, which was very large and very heavy. How did the stone get moved away. Amen? Which ties back into our theme that the stone has been rolled away. So how did the dead body get in there? When the dead body get in there, what happened? 
So that is what Matthew is answering here. And it says, a great earthquake had occurred. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled away the stone from the opening of the tomb and sat on it. The angel's appearance was like lightning and his clothes were as white as snow. Now verse 4. The guards shook, paralyzed with fear at the sight of him and became like dead men, pale and immobile. But the angel said to the woman, do not be afraid. For I know you are looking for Jesus who had been crucified. He is not here for his reason. Just as he said, he would come. He, he, just as he said, he would come. See the place where he was lying. Not where he is. Where he was what? Lying. So if you look at, at Mark, the Bible tells us, to, uh, the Bible lets us know there that Jesus, this is the burial place where Jesus was buried. Of course, it was, Mark didn't tell you, Whose burial place is well, that of Joseph Arimathea, a, a wealthy person, buried Jesus there in a tomb that belonged to his family. After the whole uh, burial, right, and put a st uh, and they put a stone there. Of course, the Pharisees heard that and all that, and they, the Pharisees, and um, they sent, they sent, uh, they sent, they ordered Pilate ordered, based on what the Pharisees said that. You know what? That place be secured and sealed. And what? Sealed. And if you know anything about the Roman Empire, when they put a seal on something, you don't break it. You don't what? Break it. Because if you break it, you'll be broken. <laughs> there will be consequences for breaking it. But you know what? It takes a higher power than the Roman Empire to break that seal. And you know what? In this case, it wasn't a human seal, a, a human power or figure that broke it. It was what? The most high. Rolled away the stone. And when he rolled away the stone, the seal was a non-issue. Because and both the seal and the stone, everything was rolled away. Amen? Everything was what? Rolled away at once. It was what? Rolled away at once, just like that. And not only was it rolled away. You know, again, if you look at it, the stone was rolled away, right? Whoever put the stone to cover the barrier could roll it back. Huh? When the angel rolled the stone away, he didn't just roll it away, he sat on it. In other words, this one has been rolled away. I want to see who will try to roll it back. What did that mean? It means that when the angel came, he broke the seal, he moved the stone, and the seal of heaven sat on it. The seal of what? Heaven sat on it. The heavenly seal replaced the what? Earthly seal, but reversing what the earthly seal has done. Reversing what the earthly seal has what? Has done. Now, the, when we look at what is the implication of this for you and I, as we consider resurrection, we'll make this very quick because we want to go into a time of prayer. There are times that we have circumstances and situations or problems That at this point, Jesus has been dead for what? Three days. Right? So we have circumstances and situations that not only are they, are they heavy on our heart. There is enforcement behind it that keeps it in perpetuity. That keeps it permanent. That keeps it as it is. Just like the Roman seal kept Jesus in the grave. In the same way, we have situations and we have circumstances that keeps us in obscurity or keeps us bound or keeps us in a grave type, permanent type situation and that keeps us in perpetuity. If you, if you notice, the Bible tells us there that the, 
that they, when they came, they looked down. They what? They looked down because they were looking for Jesus. They, in another narrative, it says that, why are you looking for the living among the dead? So sometimes we, we get ourselves imprisoned. Now, if you look at it, number one, they killed Jesus. Number two, they, he was buried in the cave. Number three, they put a stone on it. Number four, they put a seal on it. So even if per chance that the disciples will want to what, come and steal his body like they said, they have to go through the stone and possibly when they see that Roman seal, they won't try it. Right? And at that point, the possibility of the resurrection of Christ, seemingly according to human reasoning, would have seemed impossible. Would have seemed what? Impossible. And even if he resurrected, right? Then how will he come out? How will he bypass the Roman seal? We have situations, we have circumstances of life that just seems like a dead end. That all things is gloom, doom, and dead. And you know what? It, it's, it's, like, it's like the same situation was that of Daniel. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, a stone was placed there, of course, with the same seal. But in this case, it was the Babylonian seal that cannot be broken. It's like his faith was sealed. And you know what? The possibility of him getting out of that place was what? Bleak and impossible. But yet, the angel of the Lord intervened. But if we stick with this story, when the angel of God intervened, the intervention was not lapsing. Was not what? Was not lapsing. Was not something that may, maybe it could be reversed. Just like the problem posed an irreversible situation. The same thing, the solution was irreversible. Was what? irreversible. So when God intervenes in your circumstances, in your situation, when God intervenes in that which is troubling you, uh, sometimes one of our biggest fears is this, which the devil puts in our hearts. Even if this thing happens, eh? even if this situation happens, wouldn't affliction rise up again? Amen? How many of you have had that feeling? You've been waiting to get a job for so long. You finally get the job and you keep feeling it may not last. Huh? Or, you, or maybe you have been trusting God for the fruit of the wood, but you finally get it and you say, hmm, what about if this thing doesn't stay? Amen? Or you have been trusting God for a business opportunity opens and you say, what about if this thing doesn't, is not permanent? What about if this thing, if something just happens that undoes this thing? What about if this thing is short-lived? What about if it's just temporary? What about if it's not permanent? We have so many what-ifs. We have so many what-if, what-if, what-if. But you know what? All those what-ifs make us look down, make us focus on earthly situations. The psalmist said, the psalmist said in Psalm 121, he said, he said, what did he say? He said, I look up to the hills. When's coming my help? You, know, you can look up to the hills. Right? You can be blinded by your problem. But he said, but my help what? Coming from the Lord. But when you look up to the Lord, when you look up, just like Mary and these people looked up, when they look up is when they found, ah, huh, he's no longer dead. He's what? He's risen. And, the, and, they could, and when they look up, that's when they could hear the voice of the angel telling them that the situation has changed you. In fact, he's no longer here. He's gone a long time ago. He's waiting for you in Galilee. I'm telling you that when you get back to work, a miracle will be waiting for you. Yeah. As this week of resurrection comes, it will not pass you without leaving a tangible miracle. It will not pass you without what? Living a tangible miracle. Now, I want us to understand that the very fact that Jesus has been buried three days and his body might have been stinking, of course, 
If someone has been dead for three days, it would have been decomposed, thinking. But when they went into that place, do you notice something? That when they got to that tomb, neither Mark nor Matthew said that the tomb was thinking. Did you notice that? They should have been covering their nose. Right? Why do I say that? Why are you looking at me now? When, when, what, what do you think they took the spices for? It's, to, it's embalmment in order to keep, in order to preserve the body. They, they had, the, in, they had the, the, in, the thinking, the thought that it would have been stinking by now. And that's the whole idea why they took those spices. I would have told you what they are. There's about two of them. They took it to go take care of him. Because as far as they are concerned, the situation is done and over with. But you know what? I declare to you this evening that that situation that you think is done and is over with is not done. There will be not just a resurrection. There will be a reversal. And the reversal will not be fleeting or temporary. It will be what? Not only we've talked about maybe having a job. What about your stay here? Here in the United States. By immigration laws, it might be impossible for you to stay. And it might seem dead. It might seem over with. You may have a pending case. And you are saying, hey, when I go, what would they say? <laughs> Look, take solace. God has already gone before you. Amen. God has already what? He has already gone before you. Amen. And there shall be a reversal. Amen. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter how big. It doesn't matter how wide. It doesn't matter how deep. When God is involved, <laughs> look, the stone will just practically and literally roll away. Yeah. Can you imagine if, let's, let's transport ourselves from being here and let's go back in time to when Jesus was buried and look at that stone in the eyes of your mind and sitting down and looking at the stone, and watching the stone actually roll away without you seeing a hand. The Bible says in the book of Daniel, that in the book of Daniel, when, when a huge image, the image of Nebuchadnezzar was built, the Bible says that a stone was cut without hand. And when that stone hit the what? The image. The whole image was broken into pieces. And that small stone became a mountain that filled the whole earth. Amen? That is the kingdom of God taking over every other temporary kingdoms. So tonight, the kingdom, it's time for the kingdom of God to take over. Yeah. I said it's time for the kingdom of God to take over. Yeah. Oh, that amen can be louder. It is time for the kingdom of God to what? Take over. It is time for your stone to be rolled up. Huh? In fact, our team said the stone has been somebody, a man of God once said something. He said, For God, there is no past, there is no present, and there is no future. Because I like to say all those three time frames happens at the same time. When God leaves the past, the past collapses, which affects the present and threatens the future. So God stands as the arbiter of both the past, the present, and the future. Amen? Amen? So tonight, we are going to pray because we need, we need to pray. We need to, we need to practicalize and demonstrate resurrection. We need to see the workings of the what? Of, this, of, 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 of resurrection power. We need to experience how the stone can be rolled away. So whatever it is in your life that you are trusting 
that this stone should be rolled away. In the mind of God, it's been rolled away. In your eyes, it may seem like it's still there. But in the eyes of God, it has been what? Rolled away. So tonight, as we pray, I want the praise team to come back. I want the praise team to come back. And we are going to rise up and we are going to pray. And as we pray, you will see in the eyes of your spirit that the stones will be what? Rolled away. Now, I want you to, I may not have time to wind you, but I want you to really pray. So, you know what? I want us to sing this song just real quick. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. <laughs> Can you sing that? The people of God were praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fell down. Come on. Come on. Walls of Jericho fell down flat. The children of God are praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. When the children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho fell down flat. The of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of The walls of Jericho The wall of Jericho The walls of Jericho The walls of Jericho fell down flat The children of God were praising the Lord The walls of Jericho fell down flat Come on, keep singing Jericho fell down Faster, faster The walls of Where is Tim? The children of God we're praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The children of God were praising the Lord. The walls of This way, please lead them this way. My walls of Jericho fell down flat. My walls of Jericho. My walls of Jericho. I want you to start singing this for the next maybe about seven times and then we're going to prayer. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. Come on. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. Oh, 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 oh,
want you to lift up your hands and begin to just thank him. Just begin to thank him. Just begin to praise him. Begin to honor him. Begin to adore him. Magnify him. Glorify him. Just keep playing. Just keep playing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him because your walls of Jericho has already fallen down. Begin to thank him. Begin to exalt him. Begin to magnify him. Praise his name. Magnify him. Glorify him. Honor him. Adore him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Manteco peketerio. Mande preso to compreso terio. Ri apalo di abalababo o shata. Incompresente rebos corio. Ri bazonto di abalaba. Runta kapala baruta kasata. Amen. Just for one second. Thank you. I want you to pray this prayer. It's a prayer of thanksgiving. Bible says in Psalm 65 verse 5 that God does terrible things in righteousness. The Bible says by terrible things in righteousness will you answer us. I want you to begin to thank him because by terrible things in righteousness he's answering us tonight. Lift up your voice and begin to thank him. Well, keep playing, keep playing. Thank you, God. Man, toko seti. Every paro sakata. You are the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. Oh Lord, the one who is doing the work of righteousness. By terrible you will answer in you the mighty answer name of Jesus. Christ. Father, Father we, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all the adoration. You are we say to you be the praise. To you be the glory. And you will to you be the honor. Father, to you be the adoration. Father, we honor in you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just keep playing softly. Now, the Bible tells us that Jesus, or even look, even, even the Pharisees. Remember that Jesus said that I, that I will be dead for three days and I'll resurrect. Even the Pharisees remembered. And of course, they told Pilate. And you know what? And the, and the, and the, uh, but the disciples, they forgot. They all they knew is that he's dead. And then they wanted to go and what? They wanted to go and wrap him. Their faith seemed like it's over. But as but Jesus, this was one part of what Jesus said. He said, I will die. And you know what? In three days, I will resurrect. I want us to pray that every I want us to pray that Father have mercy upon me for the sin of doubt. For the sin of doubt that shuts my that that can stand in between me and answer prayer. The Bible says that he that wavers, James 1 verse 6, will not what? Cannot find answers to prayer. He cannot what? He cannot receive answers. So I want you to pray that every sin of doubt that separates me from my desired answer, Lord, cleanse me from such. Purify my heart. We are going into prayer. Purify my heart. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Every sin of doubt. Every sin of doubt. Every sin of fear. Worries and anxiety. That perturbs. That that makes us. That makes us to be an unstable man. That makes me, oh God, not to That is unstable in all His ways. Every sin of doubt. Sin of anxiety. Sin of worry. Sin of fear. That places me far away from. Answers. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your mercy, O God, let your mercy cleanse me, let your mercy purge me, let your mercy purify me, let your mercy blot out my iniquity, purge my heart, Lord, purge my heart, Lord, purge my heart, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, cleanse me, O God, from every sin, O God of God, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have you ever been so doubtful that the words that is even coming out of your mouth? A man of God once said something. He said, if you are trusting God to give you a vehicle, but you are so full of doubt. He said, even if you dream 
and you find yourself in that vehicle, you will step out. <laughs> huh? How many of you, you are trusting God for, for a job? You are trusting God to give you a job. And when you, do, and when you dream and you see yourself in that job, <laughs> you fire yourself. Amen? You fire what? You fire yourself. You know, I was sitting at my place of work and I put my hands on, on the table and I just closed my eyes briefly and phew. That is what the very first time that the Holy Spirit showed me that I'll, I'll get promoted. I was shocked. There was like a, like, like a transformation that took place in a split second. And when the right time came, it didn't happen in two months, in one month, in three months. But when the fullness of time came, it what? It happened. First, disappointment came. Oh. Discouragement set in. But when the fullness of time come, came, God turned it around. God is going to turn your situation around. Resurrection is going to effect the rolling away of the stone. I want you to pray that every words of doubt that I have spoken against the commanded blessing of God upon my life. Father, let your mercy roll my words away. Let the stone of doubt be rolled away first. Let the stone of doubt be rolled away. 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 Stone of doubt. Stone of doubt. Oh, let your blood be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Let your blood begin to reverse it. Bala ke beson tore bos. Oh, by your blood. Ika bale breso to makatoli bro. Ma imbra dos ke imbra bos ke le bro. Bele breso tori. Ma ita le braga dos se te ri amasokoto. Ika nrozi bre ke le bos kori abraba zuna raba. In le paron de le breso kotori. Le i paraza galaba. In pre de bos sotori alaba. E kotori bro bos sotori alaba. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Maybe you are battling with an infirmity. You are battling with sickness. And you are beginning to feel better. And you are also telling yourself, maybe my not last. Huh? This sickness was what killed my grandfather. Was what killed my father. Look, it might be something we have to manage. The Bible says death and life is in the mouth of the what? Tongue. And those who enjoy it, those who know it, they will enjoy it. You are going to pray. In any way that I've used my own mouth to speak death into the life that God is bringing me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak life to reverse every word of death. Lift up your voice and pray. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life against every word of death that has spoken concerning my family. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. In the name of Jesus. I speak life. I speak life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Imagine you are trusting God for a business. You tried the first time and all the money you invested was gone with the wind. And you say, you know what? I've tried. All hope is gone. All hope, hope is lost. But the Lord is telling you tonight that all hope is not what? Lost. All hope is not what? Lost. All hope is not Lost. lost. That that stone also has been rolled away. That stone has been what? Rolled away. So we are going to pray. And you are going to ask the Lord. Huh. I receive Holy Ghost boldness. To be able to obtain the promise. To be able to what? Obtain the promise. Look. Wait, wait for one second. Wait for one second. You are trusting God. Let me, let me just address this real quick. You are trusting God for one area or the other in your life. And what the stone of stumbling block that you have been having is that once God gives you that thing, you will no longer fit into your group. Hey, I will be now different though. If God blesses me with a new job, my family will now begin to say, he's the only one that is uh, whatever. I don't fit. I don't fit with my friends. Hey, 
your friends and your family is, is, is a totally different thing. It's not something you should worry about. Don't let that be an obstacle. Leave them to God. Amen? So I want you to pray and ask the Lord this, this evening that I receive Holy Ghost what? I receive Holy Ghost boldness to be able to receive. To, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, it said, let us therefore come before the throne of, boldly before the throne of grace that we may receive help. I want you to decree. I want you to decree with holy boldness. I come before the God who answers prayer with holy boldness and aggression in order to obtain the promise. Begin to pray. I come before you, O oh God. I receive boldness to obtain the promise. I receive boldness to obtain the promise. I receive boldness to obtain the promise. I receive divine boldness. Holy Ghost boldness to be able to obtain that which O God you have promised. In the mighty name of Jesus. Without fear. Without worry. Without anxiety. I receive divine boldness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fear is not my portion. Worry is not my portion. Anxiety is not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now that you have received bonus, we want to change gears a little bit. Now I want you to lift that song not too high, just take it a little a notch a bit. After you receive bonus, I want you to begin to scatter tongues. Wet down that prayer with Holy Ghost tongues. Now, don't wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. As we shift. As we shift. As we shift. Bala rento scalatori. Ile toke posoto. Mataki brosoto. Ela paron de katani. Baroti calabra zunta libro vos. Ela ton de razo toko libro gozontaria. I prados calabra dos calibro vosontoria. Le cotabala brosontoria. Macaton de revo shake. I cote rosotoria marinda bacosati. Li imbroto seke. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me tell you something. There was a man of God. He was having problem with his business. And he said he went to spend some time in prayer. And when he got to the place of prayer, he took, you know, bottles of water just to drink because he was just going to be on the water fast. Fast, drinking water alone. He said before nightfall, the Lord did not even let him wait for three days. The Lord asked him, what is so, so, so person doing in your business? That was the answer. He didn't have to wait for three days. That was the answer he needed. And then that was the insight he needed. And he did the needful. You are going to pray. Every Sambalat and every Tobias. Every what? Every Sambalat and Tobias. In my life. That is standing in between me and the promise. That is standing in between me and fulfillment. Tonight, shiver my life from them. Tonight, let there be holy separation. Tonight, let them be cut off. So that I can enter into the fullness of that which you have for me. You might not know them. But tonight... Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every Sambalat, every Tobias, even in the midst of in the name of Jesus, standing in between me and the promise, standing in between me and fulfillment, that is acting as a stone. Every relational stone, from every Sambalat and Tobias, be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Be rolled away by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let them be rolled away in the, in the mighty name let of Jesus. From every in of Jesus' Sambalata name we pray. Amen. You will pray. Remember what we said, that the, Rome, that the Roman authority placed a seal on the stone. Why? 
so that the resurrection of Jesus will not what be impossible. So that even if he rose and they had, or they attempted to steal his body, it would have been impossible. You remember that in the book of Daniel, when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, the, a sea was placed on it. And the king followed, followed in the order of the, uh, um, did that based on the laws of the Medes and the Persians that cannot be changed. God did not even touch the law. God just bypassed the law and brought his own son out. You are going to pray that every Medes and Persian law, every laws of the Medes and the Persians, that might have seemed like he sealed my faith so that, so that I will not walk into my breakthrough, so that I will not walk into my resurrection, so that that stone will still be there. Tonight, let those laws be changed. Let those what? Laws be changed. Let those laws have an encounter with God. Let God encounter those laws. I, I'm changing my favor. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your Jesus, voice. Everlasting Lift up your voice. Fire, every law. Lift up your voice. That is holding me back. Man, take a post. Every law. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every law that seals me in. Let there be a change now. Every law let there be a change now. Let there be a change now. Oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let there be a change now. Let it be broken. By the power of the Lord. Let it be a reversal of the law. Let those laws of the nations and the nations. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every law holding me in back. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It would have been wonderful if we had more time. But we are going to use what we have. <laughs> All right, I want to begin to. I want to begin to pray for a set of some people this tonight. And we'll be ending shortly. So let not your hearts be troubled. Whether you are online or you are here. One of the things that the Holy Spirit was ministering to me is somebody with, with a right kidney stone issue. Somebody with a right kidney stone issue. I would have liked to have people come forward, but I'll just pray with you where you are. And you can keep playing, and I like that. Don't take it beyond that. Who, whoever that person who is with a right kidney stone issue. And praise team, you can just be singing softly. Um, not too loud, just singing as, as the Lord begins to minister to these people. I want you to begin to sing. Uh-huh. That individual with the right stone, with kidney stone in, uh, in the right, uh, the right, on the right. Lord, I decree and I declare that the power of the Holy Spirit will break that stone into pieces and will roll that kidney stone away into the sea of everlasting forgetfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke that kidney stone situation. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. The Bible says he was bruised for iniquities. He was wounded for transgression. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus, I confront that kidney stone issue by the healing power of Jesus. And right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, that individual... With, with cataracts, 
cataracts, cataract in your left eye. Cataract in your left eye. And that eye did not completely heal. Did not completely heal. As I saw it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the cataract in the left eye receive the healing balm of Jesus. And let that issue be resolved now in the name of Jesus. Let the healing power of God touch the left eye and bring healing and bring wholeness and be completely made whole by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be completely made whole by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be completely made whole by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now, I want to pray with... I want to pray for that individual who is having waist pain. You're having pain around your waist. I want you to, pl- to, to place your hands around your waist. Place your hand around your waist. As you pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. I sh- Thank you, Father. I speak to that waist pain. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive the touch of Jesus. Receive the touch of Jesus. Let that pain around the waist be removed and be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be removed and be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Now, I want to pray for that individual. Whether you know, whether you don't know, but but your picture was your picture was taken to a native doctor. Why it was taken there, I don't know. And frankly, I don't care. For whatever reason why it was taken there. The Bible says, and clearly so. The Bible says that there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither are there any divination against Israel. Every enchantment against Jacob, we decree and we declare that it returns back to the sender. It returns back to the sender. It returns back to the sender. That amen needs help. I decree and I declare that that enchantment returns back to the sender. Amen. That enchantment returns back to the sender. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise Him. Give us a hot song. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back. Give us something hotter than that. Praise, high praise. Give us a high praise. No, 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 not that one. Not I got my mind made up. One thing we ask Thank you. of you. One thing that we desire that as we worship you, Lord, come and change
worship, we worship you, Lord God. sing that song some more. But I want you to pray. You'll be the, this will possibly be the last prayer point. Any area in which you are trusting God for his resurrection power to intervene, wherever the stone is, that needs to be rolled away. I want you to take the next few minutes, two or three minutes, and just tell God that this is the stone that I want you rolled away. Prayer, prayer in the name of Jesus. Let God hear you praying. Let God hear you declaring. 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 Hear you declaring. That stone cannot continue to stay. That stone cannot have a, an abiding place. That stone must be rolled away. That stone must be completely put to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you will have a testimony. You will have a bountiful testimony. Tell God, tell God, tell God, tell God. Tell God, tell God, tell God. Tell God, tell God, tell God. Makatale brosontoria. Elantori baraso tokolia. Dele probosontori e parandi. Ipakala barosekeria brosontoria. Every stone of stumbling. Every stone of obstacle. Father, tonight. We decree and we declare in the name of Jesus. Let that stone be rolled away. Let that stone be rolled away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every, oh God, incomplete, oh God, situation. Every, oh God, testimony that is yet to be fulfilled, that is yet to be completed. This morning, this tonight, Lord, we declare and we declare that, Father, there will be a completion. There will be a completion. There will be a rolling away of that stone. There will be a rolling away of that obstacle. There will be a rolling away of that circumstance. There will be a rolling away of that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, that, oh God, today, oh God, your people, we have, oh God, incredible testimony. Testimony piled upon testimony. Miracle piled upon miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, sing that song as we close. Sing that song. Sing that song. One thing we ask of you, one thing I desire, that as we worship you, Lord, come and
Now, Resurrection Week continues tomorrow. Amen. Saturday is going to be on Zoom. The Zoom information is on the platform. We'll be starting at 6 what? 6 p.m. prompt. 6 p.m. prompt. And we are going all the way to what? We are going all the way to when? 7.30. 7.30. So, you don't want to miss it. This is just the opening. This is the unveiling. We'll continue tomorrow. And then on Sunday with Easter Sunday. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. So, Amen. don't miss it. Whoever is not here, invite them to be online. And God will definitely visit them in unusual ways in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. God will definitely visit them in unusual ways in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 So let us rise as we share the grace. Let us rise. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The love of God. Amen. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, surely God's goodness, surely, and, mercy God's goodness and mercy is following us all the, all the days of our lives. And, and we, we are, are dwelling in the presence of the Lord, Lord forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor the stone has been rolled away. The stone has been rolled away. Are you sure? I don't care what the Are stone sure? is. The stone has been rolled away. The stone has been rolled away. Close us out, praise team. Close us out. Close us out. We'll lift you up. We'll lift you up. We'll lift you up for our praise. We'll lift you up. We'll lift you up. We'll lift you up on our prayer. We'll lift you, we'll lift you up. We'll lift you up. We'll lift you up on our prayer. We'll lift you, we'll lift you up. We'll lift you up.